today from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. This is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. Fitzpatrick and the Miami Dolphins taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the side of their Dolphins emerging from the Hard Rock Stadium tunnels and we are ready to go as the Dolphins get set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. will make it into the end zone and no run back here so they'll bring it out to the 25 now we get our first peek at the Ravens offense and at the helm of course the most valuable player of the NFL in 2019 Lamar Jackson and to me he's one of the two most difficult guys in the league to game plan for in the NFL and I add Patrick Mahomes in that category but just about every team we talk to getting ready for Lamar Jackson says the exact same thing we've got to slow him down running the football yet no one's been able to really do it consistently. Now, the most impressive thing about the, his game to me, how he's developed as both a passer and a leader. His team believes in him. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. And now he'll tuck it and run. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. And that was a nice, strong run by the guy they call the field general. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. They run from the pistol with Ingram. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. He's now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. Here's second and nine. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Sneed's got it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. A gain of 11 on the play. And the Raven first down. We're scoreless after one. With no score. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Oh, 
So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. This is Ingram on first and 10. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Two yards. Well, the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs. They'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Second and eight coming up. Operating from the gun, Jackson. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside and break it inside. Really well run route. They go screen. This is Ingram. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So first and goal now from the seven-yard line. From the gun, Jackson. Open man, Boykin, he's got him. Touchdown, Baltimore. To Miles Boykin. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bit just to get the football. Justin Tucker for the extra point. The extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's Miles Boykin who caps it with a touchdown reception. Justin Tucker. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Dolphins set to go now, and their veteran quarterback leading him onto the field. He's played a lot of places, Ryan Fitzpatrick. And his task in this situation is making sure that his team knows that there's a sense of urgency, yet somehow still stays calm. Because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. throw for Fitzpatrick and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down this team is not going to make it easy for you they're a physical group and we just saw it there on that play he came in made the contact just as he's trying to haul it in from the 24 they'll go again on second and 10 to throw again Fitzpatrick they'll set up a screen for Breida the Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Well, that second down completion, something of a disaster, and now they're left with third and long. 
Fitzpatrick will hand this to Howard. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Fourth down, Matt Hawk is on to punt. DeAnthony Thomas will return it for Baltimore. Fielded at about the 28. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Operating from the gun, Jackson. Dancing to his left. First down and more for Jackson. 23 yards on the tuck and run. On that play, as you saw the route start to develop downfield, I got the sense that maybe the run would set up for him. And he took full advantage of it and got a big gain on a busted play. And quickly, they get to the line. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Got a man, it's Brown. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 26 yards on the play there. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field. So let's see what this is about. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. So Miami coming out for their second drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. First down, Fitzpatrick. 
And a little floater there is incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. Throwing again, Fitzpatrick. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. Third down. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They forced incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. That'll be complete to Breda. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and possession will switch hands first and 10. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 37. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. He's tackled at the Well, Brandon, I don't think they're making any secret of what they want to do right now. They want to control the clock, keep the ball away from the other team. You just wonder, did they start to shut it down a little bit too early? I think what they're counting on, though, if they continue to move the ball and get significant gains, their energy will stay high, and they won't go into hiding too quickly. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Kyle Van Noy showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. It's second down. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This 
is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Throwing now is Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Out of the gun, they give to Ingram. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Ingram again. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the game that he did. On third down, Mark Ingram. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. It's a pickup of five, and that should just about wrap this one up. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Down to Anigo's Jackson, and that should seal it. Brent, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but, hey, all they needed was... Well, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Well, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three. They got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on. But they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But well, you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. And with that, we sign off from Miami.